India, a strong, resurgent and vibrant nation. Matched by a young and dynamic Navy. The Indian Navy proudly shoulders the responsibility of our nation of ensuring safe and secure seas. A strong nation needs a strong Navy for ensuring peace. Geopolitical realities are hard to dismiss. The challenges are many with the region combating religious strife, terrorism and border disputes. The Indian Navy has a vital role to play in ensuring peace and stability. The Indian Navy plays a vital role to perfection in all spheres and dimensions of warfare. Be it surface, subsurface, air and space dimension. Combat readiness at all times is the hallmark of the Indian Navy. It's a multi-dimensional force which has a formidable footprint in the Indian Ocean region. India's location in the Indian Ocean is unique. So is the role of the Indian Navy. The seas are vital for food, natural resources, energy, trade and transportation. A world-class Navy backs the economic aspirations of a resurgent nation. Always on the prowl, never lets down its guard even for a second. India's immediate geostrategic environment is synonymous with the Indian Ocean region, but its influence is carried much beyond, making it truly a blue water Navy. The mandate is clear-cut. Maintain stability and security in our area of operations in order to enable and catalyze economic progress and national consolidation. India is now firmly on the path to economic resurgence. Fulfilling the aspirations of a billion plus population demands unhindered access and usage of the seas around us. With 90% of trade by volume and bulk of our energy imports traversing the seas, maritime security is central to India's overall development and economic well-being. Maintenance of peace in the Indian Ocean region is a key national security imperative. The Indian Navy has the strategic presence in the region which is key to stability in the region. The seas around us are gaining newfound importance as each day goes by. And there is no doubt that the current century is the century of the seas. India is essentially a maritime nation with a natural outflow towards the seas and the country sits astride busy sea lines of communication 
over which nearly 100,000 ships transit every year. We have vast maritime interests and the responsibility of protecting these interests falls squarely on the shoulders of men in white uniform because it is the responsibility of the Indian Navy to ensure that India's maritime interests, which have a vital relationship with the nation's economic growth, are allowed to develop unhindered both in peace and war. India's maritime interests face myriad challenges. The tasks are cut out. Surveillance and presence to ensure deterrence. Combat readiness for a decisive victory in case of war. Keeping territorial integrity intact. Safeguarding national maritime interests. The Indian Navy is a multi-dimensional force, always mission ready. The combat fleet and operational authorities remain focused on their missions and are always ready. The production of INS Vikramaditya has added a new dimension to the operational edge of the Navy. The new flagship has added to the strength of the Indian Navy. With a displacement of 44,500 tons and height of 20 decks, the ship is truly awe-inspiring. An engineering marvel with integral MiG-29K fighters and Kamov-31 helicopters INS Vikramaditya symbolizes the Indian Navy's professionalism and capabilities as a credible blue water navy. With induction of INS Chakra nuclear submarine and impending trials of INS Arihant, a new dimension of prolonged underwater sustenance is added. The under construction Scorpion class submarines will enhance the conventional deterrence and punch to our underwater capabilities. INS Kolkata and INS Kamurta are the latest additions to the Indian Navy's arsenal. The commissioning of these two ships has showcased our shipbuilding industry's coming of age. INS Kolkata exemplifies our naval might and our indigenous capability to design and build the most potent of warships. With a very large indigenous combat component, INS Kolkata is the new face of the Indian Navy's multi-dimensional surface capability. The ship is packed with the most sophisticated state-of-the-art weapons and sensors, including vertically launched long-range surface-to-air missiles and the BrahMos surface-to-surface missile. India's biggest indigenous warship the under-construction aircraft carrier Vikrant would help the Indian Navy match the world's leading navies, also making it one of the few to operate two aircraft carriers globally. In true national spirit, the self-reliance program of the Navy is well entrenched with significant indigenization of platforms, weapons, sensors and equipment. The Indian Navy is a multi-dimensional networked force which is combat ready to take on any challenges in the maritime domain in the Indian Ocean region. The blueprint of the future Indian Navy is firmly anchored on self-reliance and indigenization and currently we have 41 ships and submarines under construction 
in various public and private shipyards within the country. It is our endeavour to progressively increase the indigenous content so that future warships can be 100% made in India.